Our subconscious mind can really determine how we operate in our day-to-day -day life. Here to help us rework it to help improve our confidence, become a better decision maker, and achieve our goals is certified hypnotherapist, life coach, and meditation teacher, Ryan Haddon. Welcome, Ryan. Hello. All right, so Ryan, tell us about our subconscious mind and how it influences the way we go about our day-to-day -day lives. Well, below the conscious mind is a current that's running and navigating your life and making decisions for you because the subconscious runs 95% of our lives. Mm. Now that can seem really daunting, but when you start to understand how the subconscious mind is operating in and through us, then you start to really step into your power. Oh, well, we definitely so want to do that. You could have a conscious... Of course you do. And you can also feel this, this, this sense of maybe there's a saboteur under things. Maybe you set your best mind towards something, but then somehow it gets rerouted. Well, that's usually your subconscious mind with a blueprint or some programming that's picked up thinking that that's what's best for you. So what and are you some strategies? Really oh, notice that. I just want to ask, what are some strategies yeah. for reworking our subconscious mind? Right. So noticing that, and then here's a couple of ways to do that. First of all, programming your subconscious mind at night when you're going to sleep is the most beneficial time. And that's why sometimes affirmations don't work mm. because we're in a brainwave activity during the daytime called um, beta. And we're in this brainwave activity and it's all about output. But when we're going to sleep at night, we're in this magic state and brainwave activity state of theta. And theta is when we can renegotiate ideas with the subconscious mind. So as you're going to sleep, say your affirmations then. Like, I wake up and I expect the best. I am powerful. I am strong. I receive love. I am open to goodness. Those sorts of affirmations will really go a long way if you do that at night when you're going to sleep. And then during the day, when you do a meditation or do some breath work, count down through breath, you can drop into that theta state, that magic state. And also watch your thinking throughout the day. Watch yourself saying things like, one day this will happen. No, no, no. Take that back and start saying, I am taking steps to move things forward. And then visualize the outcome, the things that you want regularly. Daydream. This we've been told not to daydream, but this is where we bring things into being is sitting and dreaming again and again. It's the repetitiveness over and over of what you want to see happening in your life. And then make sure your frequency within you matches that, that you feel worthy of what you want. So doing a gratitude list maybe 10 things, keeping a journal of 10 things every day, or five to 10 things that you feel grateful for, that really puts you in that frequency of satisfaction instead of wanting something outside of you all the time. It puts you in this frequency for good and you attract good to you. So those are a few simple ways to do that. Yeah, well, that's good to know. I'm gonna make sure tonight when I go to sleep, I'm gonna put those thoughts and affirmations at rest so that when I wake up, I'm protruding only happiness. Thank you so much for joining us this morning and to find your center no, and create a, a happier, healthier, and more balanced you, visit ryanhaddon.com for more.